Hi, I'm Mark Haynes with Deco Sealers. Today, uh, we're at an elevator pit application in Philadelphia. So what, what we've done is uh, we've put tie patch all throughout the walls uh, to fill in all the crevices. That's what our tie patch is designed for, for honeycombing and, and filling any kind of voids. After that sets, then we can put the Deco Seal or gray waterproofing membrane. Uh, the Deco Seal also comes in a light tan as well. This application is going to be completely backfilled. Uh, the gray is fine. So we uh, took the lid off. Josh is going to pour some uh, some of the Deco Seal in into a paint pan. You can spray this or you can roll it on. You need two coats of material. You can see the, the consistency of how thick it is. It's a little thicker than paint. It's an acrylic, it's water-based, and uh, they're going to roll it on. So they have a three-quarter inch nap roller um, that we're going to roll the first coat on. And it's, uh, you're going to roll it on thick enough that it doesn't run down. And uh, once that first coat's dry, then they can put the second coat on. And then we're going to put a third coat on in this application. Typically, you only need two coats, but there's no drain system with this elevator pit. So we're going to put it on about 45 mil thick versus 30 mil uh, wet thick on a typical um, exterior foundation wall application. So Josh is going to put this on. You can put it over the honeycombing um, while it's still fresh. If it's deep pits like this corner over here, it's the, the, the deco tie patch is not set and cured yet. You want that to set. So they're going to wait a day until that sets and then they can put the seal over it. But we can put the seal on all the other areas where very minimal crevice, um, the tie patch is set. And again, real easy to apply. Put it on as thick as you can without it running down. It's, um, what, there's really no odor to it. It has like a little bit of a sweet smell actually, yeah. but it's, um, but the nap roller, it'll, um, it'll hold the product on the wall you want to put it above grade and below grade. This is going to be completely backfilled. The other thing is that footer joint. You want to get as much in that footer joint as you want. That's probably going to be hard with a roller. I advise Josh to get a masonry brush and just uh, fill that whole footer joint in. That's probably the weakest part of the whole um, concrete wall. So they'll get a, a footer joint um, capped in there with our deco seal. But uh, nice color, uh, easy to work with, easy to roll on. He's going to put this first coat on and like I said, two other coats on and um, you know, it dries in about 8 to 12 hours and then if you want to put a, uh, a, mem you know, a sheet um, product over this, you can. If not, just uh, you know, backfill right against it. So um, uh, if you have any other questions, um, call, call us at 717-484-6131 uh, or go to decosealers.com. Again. It'll stop hydrostatic water pressure, uh, easy to use, water-based, safe to use. You can roll or spray it on and uh, great for uh, holding back any kind of water um, on your concrete walls. Um, thank you very much. My name's Mark Haynes, owner of Deco Sealers.